Uh, Tyler Hall writes, Hi, guys. Thanks for being part of my daily routine. Well, thank you for making us part of your daily routine, Tyler. Um, what do you think is the ideal running time for a trailer? I know teasers are shorter, but if they wanted to, could a movie release a 7 to 10 minute trailer or would it be against some trailer regulations? Um, it was just about a year ago, I think the MPAA had instituted... No, no, it wasn't the MPAA. It was the it was NATO. It was the National North America Theater Owners Association uh, that put out some new rules and guidelines about how far in advance you can put out trailers, how long the trailers can be. I don't have the specific numbers in front of me. There are limitations. But let's go to that first part of your question. What is the ideal length for a trailer? For me, perfect length is 240. I don't know, that sounds like a random number. I don't know why, to me, 240 is a perfect length. That gives you enough time to really give an audience member a taste of the film, a feel for the temperature of it, uh, introduce you to the major ideas that you need to know about what this movie is to make a decision about go going with it. That being said, since I feel that two minutes and 40 seconds is enough to give you that, a seven to 10 minute preview becomes excess, I think. It's almost like, we, we don't need it. It's, it's too much. Now, I'm a little bit of a hypocrite saying that at the moment because if I looked on my Twitter feed right now and it said, JJ drops an eight-minute trailer for Star Wars The Force Awakens, guess what I'm doing right now? <laughs> um, but, but really, honestly, I, I feel 240, that's the length. Teasers, anywhere from a minute to a minute 20, a minute 30, that's good. Yeah. 240 for me is my length. Schnepp, what's the perfect length for a trailer for you? That's funny you said 240. I was going to say 230, but then I was like, you know, 2 to 230. I mean, two minutes, two minutes to two and a half minutes. I think once you get over the two, like 245, three minutes, I know it's five, 15 seconds, but it, it starts to add up and you're seeing, they start to show you too much of the trailer, especially with the way the trailers now are so hyper cut. Like you're, they're like, we run out, we ran out of time. Keep showing more of the movie. You're like, what about making a trailer? I'm a big fan of when studios and production houses actually make a trailer, specifically shoot specific sequences just for the trailer to give you a taste of what the film's about, show you some clips actually that are in the movie, but then it's a tracking shot or it's something that's made specifically to get you excited about this movie that's coming out. So, um, yeah, I, and I love trailers. When it gets to seven to eight minutes, what you're talking about is like a preview of the film, which is what we see online a lot of times now. They're like, watch the first 10 minutes. Yeah. And I think I tried that with my film, and it was a great hook. It's like, it's like you know, the first one's free. You know what I mean? Like, you're like, I got to see the rest of it. That's why a lot of people do that first. Hey, check out the first 10 minutes, then you decide. And if your film is good. You're a digital pusher is what you're saying. It's a digital pushing, baby. You know it. I'm pimp style, son. That's the way. But I think that works when you have a good product, when you have a good movie, and you give the first 10 minutes away free. People are like, I want to see the rest. You know, hopefully the rest of it isn't garbage. So you're like, but usually that's not the case. So I think when it gets into even seven minutes, that's a lot of time. That's an extra for five minutes from what we're talking about, you know? Christian, what about I you? think Guardians did that, too, because it's a matter of when it's like an unknown property in order to, to mm -hmm. throw it out there and let more people know about it, especially when you're proud of what you're doing. Oh, yeah. I think it makes more sense to do, like, it's, it's, not, it's not really a trailer. It's just... Here's here's ten minutes or seven minutes of the movie. A seven minute trailer is way too much because they give away too much of the movie now in three minutes. Yes. Um, they've done it so much. <laughs> we, were we were talking about it with the, the Martian and Southpaw and all this. I mean, and it seems to be in over the last two or three minutes from the way. And even what I what I was talking to some people on the inside of things were saying like, no, they make these decisions to show the movie because it 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 shows better in numbers. It shows better for some reason of getting people in the theater. Like even when they're, when they're showing too much of the movie, for some reason that's helping get people in the theaters. I hate it. I, um, I would much, as far as length goes, I think you guys are right in this area, like 230, 240 is perfect. You get just enough. But that doesn't mean you can't spoil something in 240 oh, as well too yeah. you can spoil something in 30 seconds you absolutely yeah, really. you can so but i like to i mean i still think you know if we're using the force awakens for i mean the the international trailer i think even though i loved it gave away a little bit more than i think that we should have at this point <laughs> um as where the trailer that came out during monday night football was the perfect trailer i think it that's was a perfect trailer. i think that's how trailers should be cut in the way that it's like you get the tone of the of the film you know who's in the film but you don't know what the film's about um, you, but you'll know enough to... There, no, no, there's not all movies that can do that because Star Wars is Star Wars. Um, there are other movies that you have to give a little bit more in that 230, 240 of what we're going to get as a story. Otherwise, why the hell do I want to watch this movie? Yeah. Um, but I think that that's the length. 230, 240, you can put together a nice little narrative that gets you interested or or says this stoinks. There's a, here's a good example of you can, give, you can give a huge thing away in just a short amount of time. 
Okay, so one of the shows we do here on Collider Video is the Flash Recap Show. I love the Flash, it, it's great. But, uh, and then this is a little bit of a spoiler, so, so if you haven't seen this week's episode of The Flash, you might want to tune out for a second, okay? But, but most of you have probably seen it if you watch the show at all. La, 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 la. <laughs> so <laughs> it, the episode ends with Barry paralyzed. And his, he can't feel his legs. That's how the episode ends. And then you know how when a show's over, they say, stay tuned for a, a look at next week's episode of The Flash. And it's like a 15-second thing. And they show Barry running around fighting next week's villain. Uh, it's like, well, I guess the paralysis right. isn't a big deal because right. and so, yeah, major so spoiler. That's true. But you know, normally that doesn't happen with, with, with like TV shows. I mean, even like, well, the perfect example of that is Walking Dead. And I won't go into much about it. There's something that happened this season right. that happened. And it's just like, well, let's see the trailers to see if, if, if we think what's happened is going to happen. <laughs> and they don't show that thing at right, all. You're like, yeah. well, how about this? So a lot of times they're good with doing that. Yeah, but that was one that's, example that's a good of it example, really yeah. giving it away. Mm. Hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.